We are with Andrea. Andrea is a neuroscientist and a psychologist. Uh, we are in his beautiful home in Italy. Um, Andrea wants to take biometrics and neuroscience out of clinical labs into the real world. He wants to find the relation between human brain and nature and probably go more closer to his real passion that is mountains. <laughs> his company uh, Thymus is responsible to find the scientific relationship between um, the experience, uh, product uh, or, uh, being or yeah, and human brain. Correct? Correct. You know, in one of your talks, you said that the brain already understands mm -hmm. even without human being knowing about it. Our brain already knows mm -hmm. certain things which uh, a human being may not even understand or acknowledge that brain knows this, right? Yeah. For example, the bee uh, example you gave in your yeah. talk, right? Now, if, if the human brain is already uh, fitted with these default systems, why is it not manifesting? <laughs> uh. It's quite difficult to explain. Uh, you know, the, the brain knows a lot of things uh, right. beside our awareness or we are without our consciousness. Right. And uh, we discovered in these years during our tests and, you know, our works that uh, any time that the brain and the people uh, get closer to nature or real product that comes from nature, mm. the brain has a reaction that uh, has no paragon. So if you have real honey, if you try these kind of tomatoes that come from my garden and if you stay in nature or wilderness, the brain uh, felt like home. So comfort, discomfort, yeah. pain or pleasure mm -hmm. um, comes out of um, the alpha and theta waves mm -hmm. into specific lobes. Yeah, more or less. Yes, if that was the case, then the soon um, scientists will find to accentuate or attenuate these impulses or these waves, right? Mm -hmm. So, so then there would be no pain, right? No discomfort once you attenuate them. And if you accentuate, there'll be more comfort and more pleasure. Is it correct? Mm. There is a Canadian scientist who has said that um, the signals of pain can be blocked at the spinal cord itself mm -hmm. before it reaches brain so that you really don't feel okay. pain at that time. Yes, maybe yes. I, I think that this is possible, but uh, can you imagine a, a life without pain? Uh, me not, because you know, pain is the other side of the pleasure, but if you want to appreciate the pleasure, why I need to, to take away pain uh, for the humans? I don't think this is correct, because uh, it cannot exist life without death and vice versa. It cannot exist white without black. And uh, yes, it's good for experiments, but I don't think it's not good for humans. Now, this is a classical question, all right? Uh, is the brain gender specific? Uh, is there a difference between uh, a female brain and a male brain? If yes, then why are we not able to understand the differences? And if no, then why are these differences? Uh, there's a lot of differences in between uh, male and female brains. Uh, my wife used to say that male's brain is very simple and uh, your women's brains be much complicated and sophisticated <laughs> machine. <laughs> and uh, for most of the cases, I think yes, but they are completely different. And uh, even in the tests that we have done so far, for example, on space orientation or big details or just to be enjoyable. Mm. And female, in other cases, is very focused on the details. And uh, for example, for the clothes, they look at the zippers, the hood or whatever. And uh, Female brain is very, uh, not complicated, but fascinating because the way that uh, uh, they have to understand the world and to look through the world is completely different. You know, uh, most path-breaking uh, and game-changing inventions, uh, let's say steam engine, uh, printing press, uh, web, uh, computer, uh, telephone, yeah. um, television, um, bulb, penicillin, right? All these inventions came out of males, mm -hmm. none of them out of females. Yes, uh, I think that the, the, the historical region, reason sorry, 
is that uh, at that time the females was not allowed to study or to have education or higher education. And uh, now, for example, in our team, uh, it's mostly composed by females and not males, because females, in sort of the case, have the more power. They sh they are uh, more, you know, uh, it's a different kind of live life and live the work. So, time, yeah. space, energy are universal principles, universal units, irreducible. Mm -hmm. What about intelligence? <laughs> intelligence is a very debate uh, through the years in psychology, uh, how to measure it, it's uh, real exists or not. Uh, and the most recent and newest theories are saying that there is no what kind of intelligence there is different kind of intelligence, you know, mathematical, spatial, uh, the intelligence to use your hand to build something. So it's a sort of multi-factor, uh, multi-layer approach. And I like it because if I think to myself, to my experience, I found different people who are pretty able or super able to do something. Maybe people who are able to do this card and they are not able to use computer, who is more intelligent than the other one. No one. They use different kinds of intelligence. The size of human brain is shrinking, is uh, right. right? So that means what, human brain is dumbing or humans are dumbing? <laughs> In a sort of way, yes. But is there a relation between the size of the brain and uh, the intelligence? Not yet, no, no not yet. No, not in general because, for example, uh, dolphin brains is bigger than ours, Correct. but it's not mean that it's smarter, for example. You know, there's another myth that human brain is used only 10% and it's also advocated by famous no, movies like uh, it's Lucy. Bush, it's a bullshit. Yeah. <laughs> so no, it no, is no, no, it's no. used completely. We use fully 100% of our brain. It's not true. Not <laughs> it's correct. one of the biggest, <laughs> sorry, bullshit. Yeah. <laughs> In our system, no, we, use, we fully use our brain. Maybe it's the contrary. We use 19% of our brain. And we have 10% maybe more that we can allow to use, okay. but we use fully our brain. Now there are two questions we ask every influencer, Andrea, yes. and you are a great influencer. I, I, you... I, I need to be afraid. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not a big influencer, really. <laughs> no, you're a great influencer. You are influencing society by the work you do, and you are bringing a progress to our lives yeah. by the work you we do. Try. Lovely. Uh, what is your word to the youth? You are young, I know that, but what is your word to the youth? Oh, <laughs> um, my, my word is to. Uh, to don't lose, maybe I'm obsessed with that, but don't lose their roots because in their roots they can find a way to go to go ahead because they, you know the humanity in the historical, uh, if you look in the historical way the humanity, we used to do the same, uh, you know, error, we follow in the same footsteps and uh, maybe if we need to be safe, if we want to progress, we need to go back to our roots to understand, to talk with the old people because they are a value for me and uh, to don't be yourselves obsessed with the progress because you know technology you know, progress whatever you want is good if you have a direction to follow it's not good if you want to do just to do it because technology in most of the cases you can find something on Amazon or whatever you want this is a tricky stuff but there has no sense to exist for your life it's just a, a you know a game you know the sentiment behind our journey, all of us traveling 60 countries, 70,000 kilometers. He's still alive. Yeah. He's still alive. Yeah. He's <laughs> celebrate life. Yes. And we are certain, Andrea, that you celebrate life, otherwise you wouldn't do what you're doing. What according to you, Andrea, is celebrating life? Celebrating life. Uh, I celebrate life in two ways, I think. One is to, to stay with people. Uh, because the beauty of the relationships is to exchange uh, your knowledge, your thoughts, or, uh, or to discover the uh, biggest value of the diversity in the world. Uh, we, have the, we are very lucky guys because we travel a lot, so we stay in different places, not just big cities, but even remote valleys or remote places and in countryside with people who have no access, for example, for internet or laptops. And uh, you discover uh, the seeds of humanity that you can exchange something. It's a, way, it's a way to celebrate life because you discover that life is very simple. Celebrate life is to come back and say, okay, uh, maybe we don't talk the same languages, 
but if you give, want to give me water, I can understand. If you smile to me, I know that you are happy, and so whatever. Okay. And the, the other way this is related to this is to stay in the, in the wildlife or in the nature and do something or do nothing, because the, the world is beautiful. It's beautiful beside the cities. Uh, I don't think that I have enough time in my life to explore all the world, but if I can, I would like to eat everything to stay whatever, to look uh, hills or falls, uh, whatever you want. And you could, Milan. Uh, no, Milan, no. <laughs> you know that I, you know that I, <laughs> no, you know that I hate Milan. <laughs> Not Milan like city, but uh, you know, uh, this is the way to celebrate life. Very nice. Very it's nice. very tricky questions. <laughs> Are you killing me? <laughs> <There's>, <laughs> why? Even for the other guys it was the same or it's just for me? <laughs> More or less everybody. More or less everybody. <laughs> Excellent. And we had your tomatoes. Excellent. Yeah. Thanks Thank for you your so time, much. Andrea, once again. Thank you. Thank, Thank you. you again. Sure. Thanks.